Black Cobra. Whenever he goes into Cobra mode, as he calls it, oh. he's a new person. Okay, and Alvi Lagumbay just hit the Cobra of Makamai. And another low blow, and that Cobra is down. Cowcast <laughs> boards. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we now continue with the action. This time, this is eight rounds in the 140-pound division. The judges for this fight will be Fernando Batistil, Oliver Garcia, and Noel Haduka. Referee will be Eduardo Nobleza. Let's introduce the fighters. From the red corner, hailing from San Miguel Tarlac, Big Five Boxing Gym, Brian! And his opponent to my left in the black corner. He is representing Hearthstone Monis Boxing Gym from Sinsor Bangar La Union. Put your hands together for Alvin La Gumbay. What the bell ring? The man in charge of the action, Eduardo Nobleza. I'm here with Destiny Smith once again. Thank you for being with us on our live broadcast. Cowcast Sports Mayweather Boxing Channel, Black Cobra Network. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure of mine. Wow. And I'm so glad that you did ask me because at first I was like, no. <laughs> you like me too? <laughs> I know when you get back to the state, you're going to say, oh, let, me do the, let me be the ringside commentator. Yes. I will only grow if I continue to do it. So I'm going to tell Dewey, I'm like, hey, Dewey. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky you, you already got an international commentator uh, on your belt now in your portfolio. Hey. That's from the and the booty commentating. Sign from Destiny to me. Yo. That's my girl. I've been looking by our let's go ahead with this one. 
nothing significant so far, but uh, so they're a little bit more measured here. Uh, these guys are veterans, eight rounds already, so eight rounds, eight yes. Rounds. More, more experience. Philippines, you know, we're commentating here, Black Cobra Network, yeah, with okay. the partner here, Destiny, come on, yeah, we know how to rap, yeah, you don't have to, you just have to, yeah, let's go, this, 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 this is how we do it, <laughs> I just felt like it, <laughs> maybe someone from the US with the, uh, Discover my other potentials. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was I was thinking more of a commentator, but you yeah, maybe maybe that's the way to being a rapper. Anything is possible. I'm not that cool. I'm already old. Actually, at me, yeah. In here, and sexy. Jay Z started at like thirty something. Thirty something. Okay. There you go. Alvin will go by came out. I'll be like, goodbye. There you go. Round number two. Brian is talent. Right. And uh, I've been looking his face saying, okay, it's serious time. There you go. Once again, to the body, pushing Makamai. 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 It's in English, it's uh, how do I say it? A lot of hands. Kawaii is hands. Right? Makamai. Yeah, kind of like that. It's not supposed to be interpreted in translated to English because it's the last day. But well, for, for sake of uh, saying something. Nagumbai, body shot. Shell defense there by Makamai. Needs to let go of his kamai, his hands. Body, body, unloading now. Heavy body punches away. That one, he can't catch anything. Alvi in the Gumbai needs to make sure he needs, he gets two of the judges this time. Two of the judges, so he can get, uh, instead of a majority draw, maybe a majority decision. If this goes, the full eight rounds, 140 pounders in front of you. This is also, again, very rare in the Philippines. In the Philippines, since we're going to be uh, watched globally, uh, our usual weight classes, of course, with the minimum. And uh, 126, it's uh, pushing it already. 118 is our sweet spot. 122, this is 140 pounds. This, and this is my first time hearing about minimum weight. Whenever I was told it's like a hundred, I felt so insecure. Uh -huh. For one, I haven't been in like a hundred pounds for maybe like fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yes. How young are you? Oh. I'm twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. So the last time I was like a hundred pounds, I was in elementary school. Okay. What's your height? 5'8". It's okay. I mean, come on. You want to be 108 at 5'8"? Come on. Oh, no. I don't want to be that weight now. But it's like the fact that they're not stopping. Alvin is unleashing these bridges right now. Look at me sounding like a real commentator. You have to fake it until you make it. Just do it, babe. Just do it. And here we go. Another low blow. Yeah, it's pinching in the corner. Uh, what happened here is that if, if a pilot gets hit, 
hybrid part, you get up to a maximum of five minutes if you want to take the five minutes. Well, you know what? Sometimes uh, the fighters make the rest, but uh, it's not a hundred percent. Nothing is perfect in this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. But this is only the second one. If you wanted to take that little five minute break, you should have did it earlier. Well. That was a nice dodge. What is it? Not a dodge. It's called. Which one? Right. So my friend, a boxing prospect, Mark Maisaya, just arrived and uh, we'll approach him later, but I still have work to do. What, what round are we? We're in round three. Round number three, good job for paying attention while you're eating. This That's, chicken is so good. So good. You're not just saying that, right? No. no. I just love chicken. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, that's why it's good. <laughs> Alvin now continuing the attack and the pressure against Makamai. Makamai needs to retaliate right back right here. He's hugging. Referee says no hugging. You hug after the fight, you punch during the fight. There you go. Hesitated boob. Alvin. The, the taller guy here. Alvin looked on by the black, and we have Brian, Brian Kamai. Makamai. In the red. In the red, yes. For those who are just now tuning in, this is actually a rematch between these guys. <laughs> oh, it's a scar for uh, that guy. You think he has a spotter, or he would have been a goner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And he is deducted one point for what? I couldn't see right here. Hey, ref. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, again, we continue with the action. Alvin Lagumbay, Brian Makamai, San Fernando, La Union, St. Louis College, Black Cobra promotion. First ever boxing event, hopefully not the last. There you go, Alvin Lagumbay, I just remembered. Uh, and this is uh, an inside story. This is the first time that I will ever see, say this. Uh, him, the, that big uh, Avi Lagumbay spar with uh, Mark Magsayo, uh, and th that was a very interesting story. But that they spar, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. We were in a in a boxing event before this, so I was I was working the whole weekend. So yesterday there was a boxing uh, match event uh, in the neighboring city called the Yes. Uh, there was a fiesta there. Uh, called Cana Weedham Festival, then there's a boxing event. Usually when there's Festa in the province, there's always boxing. It's part of the celebration. Yes. That is indeed nice. And that's why I'm traveling all over the Philippines for boxing every time there's Fiesta, which is a vacation and tour. And uh, I'm enjoying the life of a commentator, a broadcaster, a blogger, podcaster. Whatever they need me. Sometimes they want to do live streams. Sometimes they just want me to do the recording on the mobile if they don't have a budget. But here we go, this time around, 10 seconds, I, I wasted all of my story, now I can't, it's 10 seconds. That's okay, because okay. Alvin has taken over. Just like our fights, they keep getting better. We still have two more fights. And the those are- The is the main event of the night. Oh, nice. But let's not forget the fighters first, before we talk to about our co and our main event, Alvin and Makamai. Yes, looks like Alvin is getting a little upset. He keeps getting held by Brian. Brian unloaded with that heavy right, but uh, did it really hit the mark? Brian's bob and weaving skills are on point at this moment. Yes. He alluded to a lot of punches. 
But that one hit the mark. They need to follow up with some combination punches here. Yes. And the way this is going, this might go to another decision and they might not like it. There's always another time. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? I, I always say the boxers, you know, don't put the, the decision in, in the hands of the judges. So That's some great advice. There you go, yes. Because you never know. Oh, heavy. Oh, what? Again. Avin Lagumbay got woke up and now is uh, retaliating. Not enough punches being thrown here. Two guys have a lot of respect, not over committing with those punches. It's one, two, three punches, one, two punch. This is sweet science boxing, very calculated boxing from the two fighters who fought for the second time. Hopefully, they're looking for a win, not a draw. They want to settle this right now. Both fighters. Oh, okay, wow. You want to read that? I have a message from the Facebook live stream from my mom, Kathy Johnson. Shout out to Destiny and her mom who is watching from Dallas. Shout out to everyone who is watching from across the world right now, especially my hometown, Dallas, Texas. We love you and Dallas. thank you for the support. I represent Dallas represented here in the Philippines by Destiny Smith. They, they don't know, right? That they don't know that you're going to be commenting. No. Oh. I told everyone at the last minute, I was like, hey, mom and my sister. I was like, hey, I'm calling to you. And they were like, you have to watch now. Thank you very much. And Usually when you see Filipino fighting Mexican, that means he made it to a tough fight. Oh, that's yeah. nice. You know, I actually thought he was Mexican. He wasn't. He looks like it and then his name. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> I hope he fights like one, though. Those are the real sluggers. Yes, I would like to see uh, Indonesian do well here in the Philippines. Most of the time, Indonesian, uh, they're no match for the Filipinos. You say, yeah. <laughs> Giselle Sanchez uh, still got a lot of energy, thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> my, my, my mouth is not stopping. On the ring, outside the ring. <laughs> no break. No break at all. And this is my second back-to-back -back events. Yeah, but I was. It's always good to stay busy. It's it's better than. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I just the boxing. There's a lot of people working. Yes, I will greet them later. Then they prob probably seen me there. There was a Muay Thai and a boxing event there. It's their fiesta in Ilocos. They're celebrating a long week, two weeks, called Kanawidan Festival. And uh, I met with the governor, Ryan Singson. Hey, what's up? If you're watching this, thank you very much for your hospitality. Yes. Uh, too bad, however, his, his fighter lost. <laughs> They're grooming fighters in Ilocos. But hopefully. This is the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> and they're slugging it out again. Brian Nakamai and uh, Alvin Lagumbay looking to settle their rematch with a win. Hopefully this time someone will win. Body punches. Like huh? To me, still. Uh huh. They're both doing an excellent job. Excellent job. I think uh, since they know each other so well, they just they just don't overcommit. Job. They punch. The, it's very calculated. They don't want to get countered. Are you allowed to do headlocks? Uh, uh, not in boxing. No. I thought so. No. So if you do headlocks, the referee will. Alvin just have Brian in a headlock. Uh, you do that to kind of, it's a defensive move. Ooh. 
but uh, the referee will break you, break, break up the, uh, the headlock. So you do that sometimes. It's called veteran move. You do those type of strategy. Nice body blow. Oh, no, he got hurt. He got hurt. He got hurt. Oh, Alvin doesn't mind. He shook it off. I heard, but Alvin stopped for a while. I don't know, maybe he felt he, he hit the uh, groin area again, but he said, no, go ahead. Alvin. Punch you to the end of the round, and that is that. End of the round. Happy to be a part of this event. Again, thank you very much, Dewey Cooper. Thank you very much. I heard he is a legendary kickboxer. Yes, he was, he's um, Southpaw stand, so he was known for that nice hard left punch and then a left kick right afterwards. I will guess yes. his moniker, Black Cobra. <laughs> Yes. I was, I was, I was right. Oh, see? You are right. Hey. Whenever he goes into Cobra mode, as he calls it, oh. he's a new person. Okay, and Alvin Lagumbay just hit the Cobra of Makamai. And another low blow, and that Cobra is down. <laughs> Holding on to that dear egg. When a guy sees someone get hit in that groin area, we get hurt too. <laughs> you know that? I can definitely relate. Not saying that I'm a guy, <laughs> but because I've heard so many bad things about it, I just automatically relate and go, ooh, yeah, with we cringe everyone. like, oh my God, no, man. But God, I'm so glad I never have to experience that pain. <laughs> Good for you. I'm so glad that uh, I am never going to give birth as well. <laughs> but there you go. He is running loose. Armalite machine gun of left hand punches. Almost out of balance. Good counter right there by Mahamai Brian. I get out, the referee would like to separate them again. Alvin is very, doing some uh, real good damage with that left hand. Again, this is scheduled for eight rounds, four, four 140 pounds. Alvin has been training with the uh, Hearthstone Modest Boxing, uh, the same boxing stable who's produced world champion Pedro Taduran. Talking about minimum weight, he is the current IBF minimum weight world champion. Same gym as uh, Alvin Lagumbay. What does IBF stand for? Uh, International Boxing Federation. That, gotcha. yeah. A lot of sanctioning bodies, but there are four major mm -hmm. sanctioning bodies. You probably know some of them. Want to guess? No. <laughs> Come on. W, 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 WBC? Yes, that's one. WB. I don't know. WBA, WBO, and the IBF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're holding any of that belt, that means it's the most prestigious belt. Gotcha. If it's world. Now you're getting some lessons too. I am. So you can take that home back in Vegas. And you can say, hey, I know this uh, sanctioning bodies. I'm ready to be a commentator in the US too. You say that to whoever is producing a <laughs> live stream there. <laughs> Alvin, oh, oh, that's not allowed. You punch someone when he's down, it's only allowed in MMA. Yes. <laughs> couldn't hold back. He was too excited. Once again, Powercast Sports, Pau Sabu, Destiny Smith. Oh, that one is good. Again, he needs to continue to follow up. 
but Alvin, oh, not enough energy to just really, really push faster. That ends the round. Where are you at? And of course, if you're from the US, from Dallas, from whichever part, from Vegas, from whichever state, 50 states of the United States. The funny thing is that uh, I, and this is very un-Filipino of me, I, I memorized all the 50 states, but uh, I forgot all of the regions of the Philippines. Wow. Yeah. Did you remember the song that they taught us? Of, uh, of the 50 states, or how did you remember it? No, I just remember the, the states and the, the capital, perhaps, if you ask me. But not the song. They didn't I teach us here. I don't even know the capitals. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm American, you're not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're a better Filipino than I am. <laughs> but no, man, I'm proud to be Filipino. I uh, want to represent the Philippines in the U.S. sometimes. Maybe coming theater, maybe announcing. I don't know, any Filipino announcer there. But let's start here, start local, then global, just like these boxers, Lagumbay and Makamay. This is their rematch. Seventh round. And the crowd reacting with the punches. And if I'm a boxer, I, again, like what I said, either two of these boxers, I don't want this to go to the judge's scorecard. They still have two more rounds to go. This one and the next one, scheduled for eight. Black Cobra Promotions. Mayweather, Mayweather Channel, Powcast Sports. If you're not subscribed, and I should have said this, please subscribe now or follow us on Facebook. Please also follow Black Cobra Facebook page. I don't know if they have a YouTube channel. Just look for it. No YouTube channel, but no YouTube their Facebook channel. and Instagram is Black Cobra Promotions. Yeah. Instagram is bigger than Facebook in the U.S.? Not really? It's, it's tight. It depends tight. on the age group. Yeah, yeah, okay. With my age group, it's Instagram. The older generation is Facebook. Ah, okay. All right, then. It's a tie. Hopefully, this, this match is not a tie. No, but I do that's not a sign. want I mean, to see come a tie. On. Why did you have to say it's a tie? Bad sign for the boxers. We might go to a trilogy. But I don't think, though. I, I, I've been uh, watching the fight closely. I think uh, someone's going to win this time. Yes, definitely. Someone does have the upper hand from my point of view. <laughs> you want to share? No, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. I think Alvin has had the upper hand. Yeah, you're the analyst here, so the analyst have the host. And then they should be saying their predictions. Okay. Their thoughts. Well uh, then. <laughs> right. Oh, there you go. That's the end of round number seven. We go to the last round. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I see Lito Dante. Did I say it right? I'm saying it again. Lito Dante. The next fight. Yes. Yes. That's his name. Okay. Lito Dante. Yes. You got it right. I see him in the back, warming up, getting ready for his fight. Okay, last round, the last chance for these boxers. Oh, and Shout out to the, Chicago. I that was a like that. And uh, I think uh, Lito Dante is friends with Martin Rizal just there in the background, warming up, talking to him, giving him some pep talk. Alvin Lagumbay, Brian Makamai. The last and final round for these gentlemen. The last chance. The second chance and the last chance for these guys. Good one, and good combination. Again, they have to work this one. I'm gonna get ready for this. I'm kind of nervous for them now. Nervous? Yes, because <laughs> it has to come to a decision. It will, certainly, by the looks of it. 
you will have a decision. <laughs> Someone will be happy. The other one will be not feel good. Definitely, if they lose this fight. Brian Mahama is still unloading some combination here. Not hitting the mark again, but uh, he needs to unload more. Uh, they should be unloading more punches because uh, they need to convince the judge, at least in the last round, uh, because there is no clear winner for me. Slight edge maybe, but uh, again, do I, do I, am I seeing some blood? I am think I, I do see blood. Uh-oh, is, is this blood, blood that I've been waiting you, for? You look, you, you, this, this is what I've been waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Uh, I think we're about to end this round and Alvin moving forward. Bakamais. Uh, there you go, good one, good combination. Three, 10 seconds to go. Time to just slug it and out. We're gonna go to a decision. Podcast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.